Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. This lesson, I'm going to show you how to practice. Practice the routine for advanced. So, so far, you have watched practice routine. Seven things to do you can choose from. And beginner guitar practice routine. And last week, we did intermediate guitar practice routine. So if you ask yourself, how many hours should I practice? That's usually a wrong question because it's not so much how long, how, what to do, how much. Okay, so we get to more detail. So this one, a little bit advanced, you know, so it's a little difficult, but you can learn something from it. Okay, so ingredient contents, I'm going to explain a little bit. So first one, A, I would say scales, chromatic scale, uh, major scale, yes, but this time I'm introduced classical etudes. All right, B, so triads, this time triads across the neck, vertical, horizontal, but several different um, chords, and more sophisticated chord progression like a jazz a little bit more advanced like rock tunes like that all right so each one i give you like a three choices okay so you can do one of a little bit more or three of them you know or you can arrange more okay just like a cooking you once you know how to make fried rice yeah you can add more things okay or deduct thing you know so that's up to you yeah i can teach you how to make a fried rice no problem okay so then, this time, root 37, you know, I always teach root 37 swing because that's really, really great one to do rhythm guitar, all right? So I will do s specific tempo to practice, okay? I show you with acoustic guitar. And then, last part is a little bit more advanced, using song, okay? So like, for example, jazz tune how to play melody in time but using different type of position see that's already you know involved major scale cage to form a little bit triads everything all right and then if i have a time i show you how to work on song how to work on songs especially my original that's how i practice are you ready by the way this guitar is orange wood Eva Mahogany Live. That's the one first I got from um, them, you know, um, Orangewood. This guitar, so easy. If you watch my solo guitar, you can play like a jazz guitar. This is really great and not shiny. And uh, you can plug into the amplifier. And my string choice for this guitar is this. Never fade away. Generally, as you know, I don't like coating string, but this coating is really light. And I'm just accustomed to, for this guitar, I put this string, but everything else I play, I use regular one, just because I don't like a coating, because coating string, very easy to press hard, and you don't notice. So I understand that on a different guitar. So this guitar, I have to be very careful about that okay so let's start the first one okay i gave you this last last lesson okay so i, I hold this maybe 20 30 seconds so you can photo capture or whatever so learn this patterns okay memorize the patterns and you, did you memorize yeah okay great so now, then what you do is like you know just a little faster Like that okay maybe it's too fast but and then go up to here i just you know for short and then make sure your right hand palm muting palm mute uh bottom um six and the fifth string and always descending line slightly slower
like that. Okay? Then gradually you should practice play softer. That's what you want to learn from other lesson that I did, beginner lesson, intermediate. See, in beginner intermediate, it's not easy lesson, important lesson for that level. But also, all those important for advance because without these, you can advance, okay? Some people think advance is difficult or something uh, amazing. It's not, it's not. It just slightly different take, but still same quality. Okay, so you got that, all right? So first you do that, you know, and then sometime you wanna practice like this extra, like any, any, any notes you pick, like that, eighth notes, eighth, sorry, chord as eighth, triplet. Maybe you, a little slowly. This is like really simple, quarter notes, Eighth notes, triplets, sixteen, and then you change any time you need. Eighth, okay, triplets. Eighth. There's exercise like that, you know, sight reading exercise almost. So sometimes it's just little things like that. You know, one time I was talking to piano player and pianist told me these type of exercise very important to swing because in order to swing, he had to understand a rhythm. So his answer was right. And then um, classical piece, I forgot the, this name, name. I had a book, this book, but I left at Berkeley. I'm, I'm just in taking sabbatical. So again, you can make a photo, not the photocopy, but you can copy now. So this you have to read because idea is E flat major scale, basically. And then two positions, the C form and A form. And so now sort of a cage to form a little bit, triads a little bit, major scale, okay. Did you take a picture? Great. So what happened is when you play E flat, you play that, you know, C form, and then you play A form. So idea is learning this song, and you have to understand where's a good place to play. So you know. So make sure your thumb position sort of moving, always, you know, centered a little below. So if I teach private lessons, somebody wants to do, you know, more technique, then I teach this. You know, just one song like that, okay? So, so basically, you are playing E flat major scale. Go to G7. See, go back to that original person, and, and so on. So I like this exercise just because I learn so many different etudes, but this one only only lasts about, I mean only takes about 45 seconds to 
50 seconds. So daily life, I practice this four or five times. So that's really, you know, five minutes. It's kind of nice. Four minutes, really. So play three, four times, you know. And if I do that with a chromatic, my hands is really warm up, okay? So that's the uh, first part, A. Chromatic scale and picking exercise and classical piece. So next one, we move to triads. So triads advance, definitely we mix C, F, B flat, E flat. So you have to understand C, F, B flat, E flat, vertical, horizontal, just like intermediate lesson to, I mean, exercise to next level. So this case, what you wanna do vertical, C, F, clean, B flat, E flat, like that. C again, and F, second inversion. I'm just gonna do fast, usually a little bit slow, okay? B flat, E flat, like that. I have this lesson on the guitar wisdom. C, F root position. So you have to really understand, I'm not looking at my finger, you know? Okay. And I just changing my body position. But see, like this one, I bring my hand a little lower so that won't buzz, you know? Tough to do it. So that's a vertical. So horizontal for acoustic guitar, just to play three places. Uh, electric guitar, you play one octave, four places. So you wanna do like this, C and F. I'm sorry, I play so many. Well, that's okay. If you can play like the four, you know, you can. That's kind of hard, you know, right? Maybe, see this hard. Then E flat. Then you have to really understand going down. Next one, just a mix. So this means you have to really understand all ascending, all descending, ascending, descending, descending, ascending. So this is kind of a manner that you do. When you look at it, if there's possibilities, you don't ask, should I do everything? Or should I do this and that? No, no. Everything you have to do it. That's no question. You do everything no matter what, because that's better. <laughs> Don't you think? So one of those, you go like this, okay, going down, going up, and going down. Okay, going down, going up. So you have to do that. Flexible. Okay, so second set, that's what it is, an uh, intermediate lessons. So make sure, C, with three places, slowly, like that. So right away, you have to understand possibility, second inversion, like that. E flat, first inversion, no question. You have to really understand that. All right, C. I play a little too many. Then. understand so almost like before you practice you have to know where you are going and then when you practice you have to look for quality of your playing picking fingering noise how relaxed you are and all that stuff because this will exchange to your confidence and this confidence level exchanges to more room to play when you perform no magic, hard work. So here, C. Now the bottom notes, sometimes people say, oh, you know, I don't really play solo on bottom notes, so I don't have to play, right? Again, that question, correct, but I practice more bottom notes. Why? Because I wanna have light, light uh, touch from my left hand. And I wanna do less noise on the acoustic guitar. 
So, do you know what I mean? So this case, right? I avoid you using a thumb. You go. You see more slowly like that. F. See that note. So you have to really work on. Oh, sorry. Then. See, really hard, you know. So bottom two, you go. Then you mute, lift up, no slide. Even like that, so you have to be careful. F. Like that, B flat. I hear that noise, you know. Which is good. That's how you. Like that. So, okay. So I think that's good enough. Right? C, F, B flat, E flat. You have to really understand a lot of places, you know. Yeah. So then, what happened is when you play uh, top three strings, like if you you know use uh, autumn leaves, C minor, F. So you have to study B flat, E flat, A minor seven flat five root flat three flat five. So you play diminish, like oops. So for example, if you don't know diminish, first you play major, minor, where's the flat five, middle, here we go, you know the diminish, so you don't memorize. Everything, you do not use any tablature or anything easy, because once you do that, you look for it, so I don't have it. So now here, major, top notes, minor third, bottom notes five, flat five, Congr congratulations. Minor and diminish, so you know D G minor G nothing to do with this lesson and then sometimes you want to use a little bit more rock yeah rock B minor F sharp A E G D E minor F sharp What's the name of song? Hotel something <laughs> What am I hearing? ending you know all right so okay you got that so, see advances has a lot of stuff but again you don't have to do every single thing I'm just giving you a little bit of option sometime today say you skip tracks fine you do just practice classical etudes root 37 fine there is no absolute way to do it okay you have to be flexible okay but having more idea and just deduct all right, because you're busy today, so you do it, that's fine. So now, root 37. If you don't know, you look up YouTube channel here, Tomohuchi the Music, root 37. If you are a subscriber to Guitar Wisdom, 
root 37 swing. That's the one. It's almost like absolutely all my students I taught, you know, you know, so that's really, really important, okay? So the first one, I assume you can play the chord progression, so okay, right? Because you are advanced, you know already. So the first thing, advanced, but still we have to do things like, okay, slow tempo. This is 50. So before slow tempo, I need a matching cup with my shirt. Here you go. All right. You ready? So this is so, so this tempo. One, two, three, ba, ba, ba. Ah, like that. Okay. Da, 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 uh, uh. Da, 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 da. Always singing. Da, 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 da. So it is you play downbeat, upbeat, mute. Okay, so you have to play, you know, four or five times, make sure you feel comfortable. Then, then I explained already for those lessons, you have to change the tempo. Now, next step, two on four. Two on four. One, two, three, four. Like that. A one, two, three, four. Extremely important just because two on four, like a drama hitting a two on four, you, you know, it's all same jazz, rock and roll, pop music. So 40 is really important tempo. Obviously, you, you change 45, 48, 50, 52. Now I uh, omit that part and then I change to 60. So now 60, can I see it? Okay, good. So now this one. Maybe like F jazz blues. A one, two, three, four. Now this one, I don't play too much up stroke. And then of course, you have to do different tempo too.
This is same tempo. So sometimes, advance, advance, you know, you change different feel in the same tempo. That's that's a little bit more advanced. Next one, we have pro level, you know. Okay, so you're doing great, you're doing great. So now, look at this one, string no chaser. You have to learn this melody because it's tricky, okay? Capture that. All right, good job. So now, when you learn the melody, you can do maybe... Alternate picking, you know? That's a D form, right? Now here. A form. See? A form, right? G form, this one. So what's happening is, so so the you know if I mean D form e easy to do D form you know right triads, but then if you play key of C, nice to use that form. So sometimes, like for example, strain no chase a great song to play four or five different positions. Like that, you get the idea, right? Yeah. Then there's sometimes like E form, like that. So how would, how would I know the melody? Because melody you analyze them, so that every time melody starts on fifth, so you understand where's a fifth. Rhythm is from upstroke. Like that, practice chromatic scale too. All right, last one, just extra. So now you warm up, practice chromatic scale, classical exercise, triads, option, you know, every other day, maybe you can do that. Root 37, you have to do every single day. Also a lot of different tempo, a lot of different song. If you are interested in like that training, I have a training called Jazz Standards at the uh, at the, my guitar wisdom. So I have a 20 guitar uh, jazz standards playing root 37 style with metronome. If you go through that section, you become advanced. I guarantee. Because nobody does that. <laughs> a lot of people. Tell me if you did the 20 song. I don't think so. Not so many people. Maybe few. That's like that. If you have it like that, just so you try, you know? You have to try, okay? Great. So now, this is good for electric too. So what you wanna do is, 
like, you know, my song, Kyoto. All right. So you learn the chord progression. You can do finger style. Yeah, if you like bossa nova, yeah, bossa nova, let's do that. You know, and with metronome, oh, wait, all right, you got that? Great. So now, so. I think this is not really great for Bossa Nova because so many chords are moving. So my, my So you see, I play solo because I practice more rhythm guitar than solo. Honestly, I'm not interested in solo because once you have a chorus, you can hear the solo. But if you try to play solo, then you think too much scale. That's why uh, it's interesting if I see you know Instagram, YouTube, always people ask me, if I pl after I play jazz standards or jazzy blues, what scale are you playing? I can't answer because if you play, you know, any blues, right? Like, The reason I can answer scale because so many places I'm changing to you know tailor to chords. So basically, I am really you know following the chords. So when I play like that solo, in my mind, like that.
<laughs> like that. You see, I'm looking at you because you're listening. You're a listener. I'm player. So we have a conversation through music and listening. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. I had a great time playing for you because this is just like a lesson, you know. Yes, if you like my video, please subscribe Tomoshita Music, share with your friends. If you're a serious guitar player who wants to learn, of course, anytime, please welcome to Guitar Wisdom. All right, see you soon. Take care. Bye.